Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to 9th grade polynomials. Without actual division, prove that 2x to the power of 4 minus 5x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 2 is divisible by x square minus 3x plus 2. Now, we have to prove that this biquadratic polynomial is divisible by this quadratic polynomial. And we should not use the actual division. That means we cannot use log division or we cannot use synthetic division. Now, to solve this problem, we will be using factor theorem, which says that if x minus a is a factor of p of x, then p of a equals to 0. What is the meaning of that? If x minus a is a factor of polynomial, then its remainder is 0. We know that whenever the remainder is 0, then actually x minus a is a factor of p of x. So that factor theorem we will capitalize here and try to solve this problem. Now the issue I have is we have a quadratic polynomial, but we know this factor theorem works only for the linear polynomials. So what should I do then? What I will do? I will take this quadratic polynomial and try to make it into a product of two linear polynomials. Then let us see what happens. Then we will try to prove that each linear polynomial, whatever we got the factors of this is divisible by is a factor of given by quadratic polynomial, then automatically this whole thing will become a factor of that. So let us write down what is our quadratic polynomial x square minus 3x plus 2. Let us split the middle terms sum equals to minus 3 and product equals to 1 into 2, 2. So we can write it as minus 2 and minus 1. So I can go back and write down x square minus 2x minus x plus 2. Can I take x common and write it as x into x minus 2 minus 1 into x minus 2, which is equals to x minus 1 into x minus 2. So the given quadratic polynomial x square minus 3x plus 2 can be written as x minus 1 into x minus 2. So if you are able to prove that x minus 1 is a factor of given this polynomial and also x minus 2 is a factor of this, automatically the product of that, that means this, automatically becomes a factor of that. So what we need to prove just now is that we have to prove that x minus y 1 is a polynomial. That means p of 1 equals to 0 and p of 2 equals to 0 because x minus 2 is a factor. If we are able to prove that p of 1 equals to 0, p of 2 equals to 0, automatically x minus a will become a factor. So let us do that. What is p of 1? Let us write down what is our polynomial. p of x equals to 2x to the power of 4 minus 5x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 2. Now p of 1 is very easy because I do not need to worry about the x value. I just take the quotients 2 minus 5 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2. Let us simplify that 2 and 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 minus 1, 5, 5 minus 5 is 0. So when we simplify that, we will get 0. P of 1 equals to 0. Let us do now P of 2. P of 2, we have to substitute. So let us go 2 into 2 power 4 minus 5 into 2 cube plus 2 into 2 square minus 2 plus 2. Let us check what is this. 2 into 16 minus 5 into 8 plus 2 into 4 minus 2 plus 2. Simplify that. We have 32 minus 40 plus 8 minus 2 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 cancel. 32 plus 8 is 40. 40 minus 40 equals to 0. So we got P of 1 equals to 0. P of 2 equals to 0. That means P of 1 into P of 2, P of 1 is x minus 1 is a factor, P of 2 is 0 means x minus 2 is a factor. Therefore, if x minus 1, x minus 2 are individually factors of P of x, this is our P of x, then automatically the product of that, that is x square minus 3x plus 2 is also a factor or we can say that the polynomial is divisible by x square minus 3x plus 2. Let us have a recap of this. 
without actual division prove that the given polynomial is divisible by x square minus 3x plus 2. Now x square minus 3x plus 2 we cannot directly use the factor theorem. To use the factor theorem we need to have a linear polynomial. So what we did we took the quadratic polynomial we split the middle terms we got the product of two linear polynomials. Once we got the linear polynomials, if I want to prove that x minus 1 is a factor, I have to prove that p of 1 equals to 0. If I want to say that x minus 2 is a factor, then I should prove that p of 2 equals to 0. We calculated what is p of 1, we calculated what is p of 2, we found out that p of 1 equals to 0 and p of 2 equals to 0. That means x minus 1 and x minus 2 are factors of the polynomial then automatically the product of them also will become a factor of the given polynomial.